Dear son, I wish you were home too. We have had nothing but rain since you left. Meeting's still in progress. Otha and I haven't been a single time. Uncle Bill and Mr. Bushnell came by this evening. Stepped about an hour. They were in the Ford. We haven't had the car out since you left, and if this rainy weather doesn't stop, I feel we will have to stay home the rest of the summer. The Rockwood crowd is going to White Cliff for Labor Day. Will you be home by then? Hurrah! And vote for suffrage and don't leave them in doubt. I heard Candler's speech. It was very bitter. I've been watching to see where you stood, but I haven't seen anything yet. Mr. Owen B., the mailman, bought Charlie Wattenbarger's house, Uncle Ben the farm. I do not know the prices they paid. You know, Jack does not like to be interrogated. Do not know if it was a successful sale or not. I only know it was rainy. Mr. Wattenbarger's little boy got his arm broke that day. Everything is getting in readiness for the wedding. Mint was real sick yesterday, but a little better this morning. I am uneasy about her. She has been sick all summer. Talked to Sadie yesterday. She expressed her regrets about you not being here for the wedding. You will tire of what I am saying, but I have nothing else to write about. Jack went to Athens Monday after you left. Said your majority was about 140. Pretty good for a fellow who wrote a dog and road law. But I do hope you are still in the notion of not entering the race this fall. I should think you've seen enough of politicians to know it isn't really a good thing to be one. What say ye? Give my regards to Mr. Griffith and tell him I have no fears for you now, for I know you are in safe hands. I should think you like the change. I think you could study better. Have you been doing any serious thinking lately? I've been thinking all week long about writing you, but I just kept putting it off. We are all as usual. Otha is beginning to fix for school, and she wants you here to go with her. Write, Mother, every chance you get, for I am always looking for a letter when you are away. And don't forget to be a good boy and help Miss Thomas Cat with her rats. Is she the one that put rat in ratification? Ha! No more from Mama this time. With lots of love, Mama.